you'll see it. When she was hired at Asher Silberstein Elementary in Dallas three years ago, Principal Erica Pashetsny saw a big problem. Oh yeah, it's very obvious. Stray dogs, many who belonged to the students, were everywhere, and that bothered her. Yes, because I don't want them to get hurt. To solve the problem, Mrs. Pashetsny says getting her students to care about their own pets meant getting a hamster. And then one thing led to another, and before we knew it, we had a whole room full of critters that the kids could learn how to care for. What can you tell me about a chinchilla? In addition to a chinchilla. They're nocturnal. They the school is now home to rats, rabbits, and at least three snakes. Wow, I've never seen a snake before. If you would look into my brain, there would be a vault full of information about all these animals. Critters that once terrified them. What type of animal is he? Are now rock stars. He's a bearded dragon. I mean, when was the last time eating roaches got this kind of reaction? <laughs> It's been such a hit. Mrs. Pachetsny recently hatched a bigger idea. Using money from a grant, they've added a chicken coop. And those stray dogs now have a place to stay safe until they can go home. But teachers say being with the animals has done far more than just teach. A lot of my students came from difficult situations at home and they come to school very stressed out or angry. Sometimes they get here just crying and they all calm them down. The kids have no doubt bonded with these animals. As a result, they've given their principal exactly what she was after. They're looking at animals in a way, how can I take better care of this creature? I want to be a vet when I grow up, so this is helping me. I could just go back into the vault of memories and look, how do I take care of this? And then I could remember, oh, this is how we take care of it. Voila, and just do it. She wanted to teach a lesson, but instead inspired a generation. What animal have you been learning about? In Dallas, I'm Sean Giggy. Well, the principal, Dr. Paz, is actually going to be moving to El Paso soon, but says the program will continue and hopes to start one at her new school as well. Listen, I watched my husband hand feed these squirrels we have in the backyard. There is something that teaches you <laughs> compassion and empathy for the little creatures out I there. I really think you need to show everyone that picture of your husband <laughs> on his birthday I'll with that squirrel next out. to him. Yeah, yeah. But there's something special, and teaching kids <laughs> young is important. Yes, it's the vault of memories for me, too. Uh -huh. <laughs>